Hi everybody, Leonard Kinsey here. Uh, got another video for you. As most of you know, I went to Disneyland a few weeks back and uh, went for a whole week with Jeff Heimbuck and his fiance Martina and also Pentacus. And the main reason we were there were to do some book signing events with Disney legend and former Imagineer Rolly Crump. And the book is one that I published through Bamboo Forest Publishing called It's Kind of a Cute Story. And it was written by, by Jeff and Rolly. It's a beautiful book. Um, it's really just gorgeous. It's amazing pictures, amazing stories. Um, so yeah, so we had a book signing event at Barnes & Noble's at, in Orange. That went really well. There were people waiting outside two hours before beforehand lining up for it. And then we had a mice chat event at the ESPN Zone, and Floyd Norman was also there. And that was that was huge. Uh, it's totally sold out. It was it was amazing. Um, and actually, for those of you who uh, will see this video, you'll notice that we're selling these posters uh, at that event. And these are Rolly's doper posters. There's a series of four of them, and this is the marijuana one. Um, we sold out at the event, but we're going to be getting a bunch more printed up. So for those of you who didn't have a chance to get them at the event or didn't go to the event, um, we will be having bunch of signed posters available on the Bamboo Force website uh, and sometime in the coming weeks. Uh, anyway, but the best part of the trip was getting to spend an entire week just hanging out with Rolly. Um, we spent a lot of time with him, had a few meals with him, drank a bunch of booze. He tells some amazing stories. Um, he's such a funny guy. He's, he's just got a great sense of humor. He's a brilliant artist. He's got some stories that no one's going to be able to hear for quite a few years um, because they implicate a lot of uh, a lot of people in, in a funny way uh, but anyway it was just it was really a dream come true getting to spend so much time with him getting to know him and uh, and his partner Marie and uh, they're both just wonderful people and we had a we had a great time it was it was really an incredible vacation and uh, look for us again we'll be out in San Francisco at the Disney Family Museum on July 20th so if you're in the area there uh, it'll definitely be worth the trip down to hear Rolly talk um, so anyway enjoy the video alright I've got something for Rolly oh, okay. oh, oh no. this is your first royalty oh. check yeah <laughs> that's for last month that's for last for month. For last month. You'll be getting yeah. another one for this month, too. Oh, God. That's oh, good. Yeah. Oh, that's they're we're, selling so well. We're in the clear, so every month you'll be getting a check now. Oh, that's good. She gets 50%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'll try not to cuss. All right, here we go. Um, so I drew that Indian with pen and ink and then I did a little etchings around it to make it look like it had been, you know, printed from a woodblock cut. And so I did that Indian and I hung it up on the wall in my uh, in the, uh, my room. And I kept looking up at it and I thought, you know, um, that's kind of just an Indian, that's not much. So I thought I'd make a poster out of it. So I was going to put in there Smoke El Ropo. Well, that was stupid. So then I thought, oh, I know what, I'll put on there Smoke Marijuana. And I thought, oh, this is 1956. That's it, smoke marijuana. And I thought, to hell with it, I'm going to do it. So this is this marijuana poster that I designed in 1956. Now, and, and it's, got, it's got some new lines in it. It says, now, don't smoke and drive because it'll take you forever to get there. So, But anyway, so I, uh, I signed up for this uh, class, and during the war, in all the art schools, the, the girls weren't nude. They, they wore bathing suits. And uh, so I took this class, and by the time I was into my third lesson, all of a sudden, the girls were coming in with no clothes on. And it's, it's really kind of wild to sit there and paint, and, you know, draw this little naked girl, and she puts on a little robe, and she comes around and talks to you during coffee break. You talk to her, it's kind of like, you know, she's your sister or whatever, and then she takes her coat off and she goes, she goes back up there. You want to talk? <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, I want to say thanks for all of you for coming. Uh, I didn't expect this many people. This is really awesome. Uh, pure luck. I absolutely lucked into it. Um, I always say that, that Roly has always been my uh, favorite Imagineer growing up, even before I knew what Imagineers were. And uh, a couple of years ago, I emailed him to do an interview with him about another project he was working on. And um, from there, we just you know struck up a friendship with myself, Roly, and Marie, and you know it just took off from there. So you realize And then we'll, um, <laughs> she can make out your halo. <laughs> and coming out of the paperback uh, very, very soon, right? In March. In March. My first boss at, at the Disney studio was Roly Crump. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now that we know that, and we have Roly here, let's try to embarrass him, shall we? Yeah. Some yes, we should. we should. Oh, I don't know. I, I think, uh, you know, back in those days when you went through your uh, apprenticeship training period, you, you were put in a, a bullpen and you worked there for about a month. And then when they decided you were ready to do actual production work, they would uh, grab certain young artists and, and you'd be handed over to uh, a veteran who would then uh, give you work assignments. Uh, lucky for me, uh, I got Roly. So, uh, Mr. Roly Crump, everybody. Um... I, I have a disadvantage. I unfortunately don't know a lot about Roly. If only there was a book about him. <laughs> By the way, I want you to know that when they moved me from animation, uh, I was invited to go to work at WED. They called me in and Ken Peterson was in charge at that time. He said, well, he said, uh, you, we just want you to know that your portfolio was the worst portfolio that was ever presented. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, you know, uh, and I don't know why you said it because I thought it was pretty good. It's totally good. Uh, there's a whole session just on this subject. And I want everyone to know that all the 90 men did not smoke, smoke dope. Just the rest of us. You know. And the original one didn't say imported by Stone to Kelly, it's imported by Wetback. Well, I changed it. Over, over the years, that was not fun. So, so I had a re revision on that. And, uh, so, anyway, but and the interesting thing about it is, when I had my exhibit in the library, clear back in those good old days, with my propellers, I had the, the, the dopers in the hallway. And I get a call from Keita that ran the library. She says, Roly, don't you know the wall was here today? And I said, oh my God. I said, oh my God. Did he go down the hallway? And she says, yes, he did. I said, he saw my dopers? And she said, yes. I said, what did he say? She says, he just stood there and laughed. <laughs> that, that, I'll let you know that, you know, he wasn't prejudiced about anything, and he accepted everything for what they were. And 
and he just enjoyed the humor of it and let it go at that. But even when I got to know him, which was years later, we never did discuss the marijuana. <laughs>